the derivation of the area rule. Now, this is quite a simple little rule to derive. Now, you notice in this triangle ABC, I have this other triangle ABM. Now, we're just simply going to um, write down that, that H over C opposite over the hypotenuse is equal to sine of A. Which that implies, of course, that H must be equal to C sine A. Now we know the area of a, of a triangle is always half the base, the base times the height. So the area in this case is equal to half of, now this would be little b, opposite the angle B. So it'll be B times the height, and the height is C sine A. And that's the area rule. Now other variations are the area equals a half AC sine B. So all the letters are included, A, C and B. And the other one, of course, is the area equals a half of a, B, sine C. Now, you probably don't need to remember this, uh, the, the letters, because it's quite simple. You notice it's, in this case here, it's a half of that side times that side times the sine of the angle between. So you must have the two sides about the angle to be able to work out the area rule. If you haven't got that, you'll have to work it out using um, the sine rule or the, the cosine rule, depending on what, what you're given. Now let's do a little example here. You can see that the area is going to be a half times 4 times 5 times the sine of the angle between, the sine of 60 degrees, which is going to give me 10. Now from a previous video, we know that the sine of 60 is the square root of 3 on 2, and that simply becomes 5 root 3 units, wherever the units are, squared. And that's the area rule. Thanks for watching.